giveaways. Woohoo! See y'all. See y'all. <laughs> Trindane was just like tired at the end of it. He's like, I hate you. All. This just in. We thank you for hanging out. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this. Rent to you so service is now available in okay, Germany. Um, I'm gonna play <laughs> Scandi. Wait. I thought I could get through it. I thought I thought I could look right at the screen oh, like like a newscaster <laughs> professional and tell you guys what's up during our 12 hour stream for toys for tots but no i can't and because we're done. <laughs> the first story is rent a jew a new jewish community outreach group in germany is raising eyebrows for the name of its new educational program rent a jew oh my God. the group said that few germans know jews personally and the program aims to engage young people on the grassroots level this is equivalent to if you were in 1940 or so, like to you rent know, a black. Yeah, like eighty years after the Civil War ended, and you had a rent a black program. Mm. This is not something that you should be like. Check out our new program at the Boys and Girls Club. Rented you. I don't. I mean, like I I understand it, but I don't. <laughs> don't understand why we're doing this. The program with the rather provocative name Rentaju has been launched by the Munich-based European Janus Korzak Academy. There are 100 Jews in Germany, but very few... <laughs> okay, take two. There are 100,000 Jews in Germany, but very few people in this country know Jew personally. We want to change that and break down the prejudices. About, <laughs> about Jews. That was really good. That did, was good. did you like my uh, incredible caricature of an evil German man? I did. That was Castle Wolfenstein. This is evil to kill you. It, it was like the guy we killed in WoW with oh, the dog. Yeah, we killed the guy with the dog. My dogs, they are. <laughs> now I'm going French. My dogs, they are delicious. I defy the missiles. I still eat them. The rented Jews are available to speak in schools, universities, religious groups, and other institutions, the organizer said. So do what you will with your rented Jew. So it's not like you just have Mama Jew come over and cook for you. It, <laughs> it's it's like learn a Jew. It's yeah. It's it's more like a a community. It's like a a little brother program. <laughs> you're like the Jew, but it's like reverse. It's like if you were a big so you're a big sister, right? Because wow. you you have to teach the little sister stuff, but instead, the little sister rents you. Rather than you volunteering your time with the, the little sister. So th oh, oh, that's what oh I, I want to make a joke about making money. <laughs> no, but you I'm don't. not going to. <laughs> make a joke about making money. You're allowed to make jokes about people till you engage their stereotype. Then people just say, "Now we've been dealing with Rent that." Rent a Jew. You're, you're, yeah, you're handing over dollars. This is a bad story to start. We're just. <laughs> Man, well, so... I, I, I hope that Ashley and Jacob and whomever have gone pee by now, because... I hope, you know what, I think, you know what, first of all... <laughs> future me. Just future, future smash. And Steven's probably gone to bed by now. But I just hope you guys are having an excellent Toys for Tots charity drive. And man, if there's one cause you can give to, it's the Toys for Tots, because some people... Oh. don't have what we have and you should be given your hard-earned dollars so future people who are watching this just share me. share with each other. share you know what sure. Stephanie had a really good conversation with me one time she was like and this has nothing to do with charity like you should give your hard-earned dollars to charity because that's a good thing for you to do to be a better person but she was like why is it that when I'm using like let's say we're children Right. And I'm using the bouncy house, like or the bouncy thing on the playground that you sit on. It's got a little spring, and you rock back and forth. Yes. Why? I just got on it after waiting for it, and somebody comes up and says, "Now you need to share." Right. Exactly. What like, the I, crap? I will when I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm not done with it yet. Like I just got on it. Why should I feel guilty that kid over there who just got to the park thinks right. I should share when I? We I've also waited. need to teach people to wait their freaking turn. Yeah. So you teach a kid patience, but then at the same time you teach them don't teach other kids to be patient. You just give up the thing that you waited yeah. for. Freaking ridiculous. You My kid what? will. It, I think the sharing thing comes into effect when okay, like I've put it down. I don't want it anymore. But somebody else comes and picks it up, and you chuck a fit. Okay, that's you know that's when you have the sharing conversation. Not if I just picked it up and I'm playing with it, and well, Tommy wants it now. Tough shit, Tommy. You wait. 
That's that's right, exactly. I'm as mad as hell. <laughs> Thank you for watching Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Just in from Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, we interrupt your regularly scheduled once a year charity stream to bring you news. <laughs> yeah, I tried. No clean getaway for twins who stole 180 <laughs> bars of soap. What? Oh, I need to get Jacob's soap. <laughs> what? Did you just remember grocery list? Is it time to go yeah. home? I just, I just, there's a hole in this pin. Why, why would you have a pin lid, but then have a hole in the top of it? What's the point? Well, I mean, it's not to keep the pin from leaking out. It's more or less to keep the pin from writing in your pocket. Oh, so they don't really need a. Not really. Like, have you ever had a pin just leak out the end of it ridiculously? No, but I was thinking they dried out. But it's not about drying out. It's about keeping the pin from marking on yourself. Yeah. The pin, the pin is like. Did you know that? I made it up just now, but it sounds pretty feasible. <laughs> the, I mean, if you think about it, like, the pin, think about these kind of pins, you know? The ones that actually just have a, a, a click, you know? Like, it's not, like... They're, oh, my God, Steven! <laughs> like, this has a... Can you see that there's, like... <gasps> <laughs> what? What? Yeah. I have chill bumps. I have legit chill bumps. Today I learned that the pin. My cap. entire worldview has dramatically and drastically changed. Police say twin brothers stole 180, that's a very round number, bars yeah. of soap from a New Jersey supermarket. Why does a supermarket have that much soap? I don't I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be the same brand. Like maybe they had 40 bars of dial, 30 yeah, bars I guess of that's dial true. soft. I've never seen that many of... bars of soap anywhere. Like, I don't, I guess I don't buy soap at a grocery, a, anyway, whatever. You don't use bars of soap, because bars of soap, everybody's putting it up their butt crack, and you're just like, why what? would I use that again? So I understand the concept that it's soap, so it, like, right. it, it, the germ should die, but it's still, you know, Jacob has taken this bar, wedged it between his butt cheeks, and went to town. Like, right. I don't want to put that on my face. <laughs> It's an exercise. It's a glute exercise. You just shove the butt, but <laughs> shove the soap in your butt cheeks and see if you can hold on to it. Like it's like Benoit balls for your butthole. It's like the backwards pin test for your boobs, where you put the the pin in the boobs and just see if you can hold it. Then it's like, oh, I have good boobs. I don't think I could do that. It's like a movie from like thirty years ago. I can't remember what it was. Oh, of course you would know what it was because you're a boob guy. But you put the pin in there, and it's like my boobs are big enough because they hold the pin. I can't remember where I saw. No, that. that doesn't mean your boobs are big enough. That means your bra is good enough. Oh. If you have a good enough bra, an A cup will be like, yeah, I'm squished <laughs> together, and there's a butt crack on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm pulling pulling skin from my back to make it happen. <laughs> Oh my god, these twins' name Police say Kenny and Lenny Stewart, which is hilarious because don't name your kids rhyming names, no. dumped 36 packs of Dove soap. So it was 180 bars of Dove. That's quality stuff. Into a large bag and bolted for an exit with employees in pursuit. The twins were knocked down when they ran into a trash can. <laughs> God, these guys were in up. That's awesome. Police say they got back onto their feet, but then fell again after running into a shopping cart. What? <laughs> this is... Wait, wait you have Hold the on, music. I, I've got it. That. That's what was happening. You could just see it going in fast motion. Like, oh, oh my no. God, that's so bad. <laughs> As they turned a corner, the twins came face to face with a police officer who was investigating an accident in the parking lot. They were charged with shoplifting. This is, like, the worst case of botched robbery <laughs> awesome. ever. It's the best case is what it is. Like, pretty much anything that could have... Hey, what are you going to do with 180 bars of soap? Why do you need that much soap? Why, why steal soap? You could <laughs> right. go to a hotel bathroom and, like, dump it in a baggie. Everybody knows... <laughs> <laughs> for watching Supermarket Sweep, that you always grab the turkeys first. <laughs> because they're like 20 bucks a pound? You always grab 
the turkeys first. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been your Horseshoes and Hand Grenades news update. We will return you back to your Toys for Tots charity stream. Let's hope that you're Donate. nearing that $500 goal. Do it for the kids, ladies and gentlemen. We love them. They love us. And we need to make it happen. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Bye. I should probably play a music when we go out like some of this. Like, no. no, that's not the right That's <laughs> not music. Let's... No! No, that's too much intro. That's too much <laughs> intro. Let's go out with, with... Let's go out with... Nope, that's too much no. outro. There's, there's got... That's too much bombs. Later, everybody. Got... Peace. Bye! Sweet. I want to Okay. Am I in the way? Nope. Before you get started. Do you want me to move? No. Okay. Can you do a... See if everybody can hear you. Can everybody hear me? Why are we... I haven't used a bar... I haven't, oh, not a bar of soap. But I haven't used bar soap since I discovered body wash. Where's the... This. Oh, it goes away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dress says yes. So we're good. We're all good here. Now. Thank you. I have like... I should probably take more contacts out. No, we're good here. Meow. Uh, I want to continue. I feel like I should maybe start this over. But we'll see. Ecto, thank you so much for the host. See, I feel like I want to see the stream because then... Oh. I forgot the sound. Uh... No, it's for this. Effects volume. It's like way down. Maybe I just need to turn it down on here. Does it sound too loud? You want me to restart? Okay. Oh, they added new stuff. Okay, let's go to the main menu. It was so hard to beat that one village, though. <sighs> new game. Enter name. Fate. Duh. Play. Go take a nap. Yes, In he's had 45 of the Red new Bulls. World, the island quiet. of Tanzia is home to a new and great so race what? called the Akazi. <laughs> the Akazi had little interest in technology and material wealth. They pursued wisdom above all else. With the Akazi, arcanity, alchemy, and endless possibility would flourish. Because of their unique values, other races often regarded them as primitive and mistook them for weak. A critical mistake. Life was good on Tanzia. Until one day, a terrible evil known as the Skeleton King the skeleton came to jerk. claim the island. The greatest Akazi warriors confronted the Skeleton King and his undead armies, and one by one, the Akazi fell. This terrible evil fought with an advantage, a unique knowledge of something born of this new world. This enemy fought with arcanity. The new world was young, and few understood the mysteries of Arcanity. But one Akazi had already attained a mastery greater than any other, and 
the Skeleton King soon met 